Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. All right, you caught me. One more time, you caught me. And it's still fall. <laughs> it's still only uh, day 22 of, of autumn. And I've not made a decision yet. Like I said, I was going to see you in winter. Like I think three times now so far, I said I was going to see you guys in winter. But I didn't. Now, I got an extra point here. I'm going to increase the level in this skill, which is Experienced Hunter. It lowers the door or the durability loss from my weapons, which is always a big plus because I got a point while I was hunting um, in between recordings. But I'm going to show you a bit more about the village real quick. You'll notice I have two more houses right here. Kind of cramped in this section, but actually I think it's okay. It kind of fits in. I like the way it looks. Like these are going to be the farmer's houses for our internal farms. I realized that after I built these farms that I need at least three people. And then there's some other places that I could go. Like I could put someone in the fishing hut. And if I look at production, technically I could put somebody in sewing. Um, I don't know about... Oh, those are full. So really, I could use five people still. Actually, that reminds me. Let me look at my houses real quick. I think somebody moved out. <gasps> yeah, no, no. Sorry. I, I lined everyone now. So with the houses I have, I can get four... Or, yeah. A male... Two males and two females. In order to fill these houses. And I need farmers. That's what I need. And possibly someone with good production in order for the sewing hut, but neither here nor there. But I built two more houses. You'll see, looking, they look pretty nice right here. I need farmers to fill it. So today's mission, we're gonna go look for people with some farming skill. You also notice I upgraded this house. It's all, all the way upgraded. Um, so really, I just have this house left to upgrade out here of the original the original row of houses. Hello, how's everyone doing? My little village is starting to thrive. I love it. And yeah, that's sort of where we're at. So today, we are going to be heading out into the world. Oh, one more thing I can show off. Uh, we did manage to fully upgrade with Dob uh, this section. The barn is completely done, and I have two hops in orchards. I don't like their placement. I didn't realize that's how it worked. I would have probably changed it and just made a field. I'll probably end up deleting those at some point. I haven't really decided because the fields look pretty good. I'm probably going to extend this field, this field, and those two other fields to be 8x8 eight eight fields, I think. And then I'm probably going to put an orchard maybe out here. I haven't decided that far yet about, because I want to max. Well, see, I could also do an orchard um, over here in this area, or even over here. I think I did one right here earlier. There's a nice flat spot. I could do a big field of orchard right there. And I may end up doing that, just a real big orchard right here, uh, sort of outside the village area. I haven't really decided. Though, to be fair, I'm probably going to eventually end up building walls all over the place. I don't know. I know for a fact I'll build walls along here and then along this road and cut that off and sweep around at least a little bit. But I haven't made that decision yet how I'm going to work on that. But you'll see my village is starting to grow. It's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, but that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to run to Denica. And we're going to see if we can find us some farmers. And maybe one person who is good at uh, production. Alright, let's see if Denica has anyone decent. We have... Uh, he's not really all that great. He's kind of like two all across the board. Let's head to Rolnika next. I'm not real impressed. So we might as well try to see if we can find someone better. If I'm going to pull them in, they might as well be somewhat decent. We are here outside of Rolnika again, and it looks like there's a pig person. Do I have enough money to buy a pig? Because if they do, I, I might buy one. I haven't really decided. Hello there. Hi, how are Best you? Best foods in the valley. <sighs> 200. Show me My wares words. never disappoints. Yep, you're going to buy some stuff from me. 
Oh, I don't want to sell the hoe. I could use that, I think. I'm just trying to think, like, right off the bat. Oh, I could sell those. I'm just trying to think, what can I sell? Because I, I would like to buy a pig, but I don't think I had enough money right off the bat. I don't need these. Don't need the feathers. Could probably make more off the fur. Ooh, pear wine. Nice. I know I found some of that while I was out and about. You know what? I'm going to sell those. I'll hold on to the knife for right now because it seems... I'm going to sell like four of the torches. I don't need the shovel. So we're good there. What else can I sell? I should have plenty of meat, so I'll get rid of that. I do have all these tools, though, that would sell for a good bit. What am I currently... Goodbye. All right, let me look here. Oh, why am I doing that? Why am I not using a bronze pickaxe? All right, four. Yeah. I think I'm all set. All right, I'll put a bronze hammer, six. And... I think I have a bronze hoe already on, so we're set there. All okay. right. My wares never disappoint. I know they they never do. I have that in place. I could sell the scythe. Um, I'm gonna sell the scythe. That's fine. And the shovel. I'm not gonna use that. And the sickle. I think I already. Oh, they don't have enough coins. All right. Well, never mind. Um. Oh, I know what I'll do. Have a good day. I'll take these logs and I'll make <laughs> shovels. They sell better than the individual Hello. logs. Best goods in the valley. I believe you. I completely believe you. Poisoned arrows. Got lots of those. Not worried about that at the moment. Sell that. Uh, and that. Why not? I don't care. Perfect. Ooh, wine bottle. Perfect. And because I have nothing else, perfect. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's see. Little piglet. Oh, wow, that's pretty expensive. Um, are they really all that much? Whew. All right. You know what? I'm going to buy the, the female piglet, put her in the pigsty. And how much money do I have? Not enough to do anything. Oh, crud. All right, well, at least I got one pig. That's fine. I've got a couple people up here. Let's see. Anyone in here good with farming? Actually... Amelia, she's decent with a couple things. Oh, my hunter. Wow, no one is good at farming. All right, well, you know what? I'll be back. I'm going to go to another area. I'm going to go to Tutkey. I, I really want someone who's decent at farming before I pick anyone else up. I can always run back if I need, need to fill someone in, but I don't want to take someone who doesn't have at least two farming. All right, village number three. We got donkeys. That's nice. There's only one person over here. One person. All right, she's two farming. Hello. Wow, she's kind of old. Uh, you know what? See you soon. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. She's 31. It's not terrible, but at the same time, I'm kind of looking for young people for my settlement, not old and i use that term very loosely because i know i'm older than 31 uh but that's beside the point rasmir's not i might be but rasmir's not i need younger people for my settlement village number four on our list let's see <gasps> two farming and that person just is terrible all right hey old friend oh, another 30 year old goodbye you know what? I'm almost I'm almost to the point where I'm like I might just go back and grab these thirty year olds because I'm not. I, I have a twenty eight year old over in Denica who has two farming, so it's not bad, and he could sit with a thirty year old. I guess it wouldn't be terrible. I'll think about it. If I get to Branica or Berenica and there's no one here. Let's get a drink of water here real quick. Just tap me off. Um, if I get to Baronica and there's no one younger than that, I'll run back and grab her, and then I'll run to Denica and grab the guy who was 28. And at least I'll have two people right off the bat. Now, 
What do we got over here? I think these are sheep and goats. Yeah, sheep and goats. Hello. Yes, I agree. There's only one person over here. All right. Where is, okay. Alice, I think she's older. Well, she's got two farming. How are you? All right, so apparently everyone's gonna be old. And I'll grab that 28 year old, so that's fine. You know what, she can, it's fine. When I when I circle back around to Denica, I will grab the other gentleman who's there, who's 28, and he'll stay with her. So there you go, and I'm going to have her take care of the hen house. She can work in the hen house. Beautiful. And I think with Alice in place, that does kick me up a little bit. She's happier now. It's not the best. She does actually have some fairly decent skills in other spots. Um, I'm just trying to look off the top of my head. Technically, I could switch her for a water carrier and take the water carrier and put her in with the... Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change her to the hen house. Sorry, Alice. And Alice is going to be our water gatherer person. I have more water than I know what to do with anyway, so I don't really necessarily need someone super skilled at water extraction for right now. Um, so that'll be fine. She could even be a fisher, to be honest, at some point. I'm not really too concerned. Uh, there's more to do. Three, three, uh, even be... Okay, actually, you know what? Radomir. Sorry, Radomir. You're going to be our new well person. Thank you. And Alice, since you have production, you are going to go work in the blacksmith shop. Actually, you know what? I will put her in this in the sewing hut instead. There. Now I have people everywhere, and everyone's kind of at a place that works fairly well. So I'm happy about that. All right, next place. We'll head down to Borrowell. I think this is stop number six on our round the valley tour as I try to find people who I can pull into my little farm. Let's see, how many people we have here? Oh, we actually don't have a lot. Um, he's pretty decent, and, oh, farmer! Hello there. Hi, how are you? I'm making a new settlement, and I will see you there because you are a farmer, and I love it. So first off, this Rosalinda, I'm going to have to put her in the only other house we got, which is fine. And she is going to be working in the... I don't really want to make her work in the pigsty. I'll put a guy in the pigsty. I'll put her in the goose house. There's no one even in there right now, but that's okay. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Let's see. Who is the other person? Oh, you're actually pretty decent. How is life treating you? Um, I'm doing pretty good. How's life treating you? Good. I'll see you there. Thank you so much. Nightmare is now also there. And again, he's not too bad. I'll have him take care of the pig slot. Um, actually, I should go to the house. He's... Sign him a job. He's going to work in the pig sty. There's no breeding to happen by yourself, but that's okay. Let's see. The 25-year-old is going to get lucky and is going to be with the 19-year-old. I think. Yeah, that's fine. It's not that bad. Switch, switch that up there. Where's he at? Right there. Boom. All right. So, with that being said, if we look under... Why is he still unhappy? He says he doesn't have all this stuff. He does have all of this stuff. No food, no water. Maybe it's just weird. All right, so let's head back, and we're going to grab the other older gentleman who was back here in Denica. And that should take care of, of that whole situation. And then we'll have all of our villagers. All right, back in Denica. Wait, when did they get that light? Anyway, that's pretty cool. I need my other 27-year-old gentleman who's over here, Adelbert. All right, Adelbert, I got a... Uh, Hail, friend. Hey, I got a sweet deal for you. 
nice little 27 year old you know I'm really excited about getting you there you're kind of meh on a lot of stuff you know I'm not too excited about that but it doesn't matter I don't really care where do I want to put you Oh, that's right, I did have an extra spot. And I'm trying to think where I want to put them now. Oh, what's his, you know what, I'll put him in the, do I really want him in the smithy? I don't even know what his, if his skill's that good. Ah, no, it's two. Well, still better than nothing, I guess. Is there anyone with f uh, farming that's better? <sighs> I'm just trying to look if there's anyone, no that has decent farming and smithing skills. So yeah, like everyone with with those those skills I have where they're supposed to be. They're just gonna have to level them up. That's just how it's gonna end up being. They're just gonna have to level it up. But now we have 22 population. Albert, you better get to work. How does that say I only have 21? Oh, 21, 21 workers. And I'm at 29 buildings, which looks pretty good. So let's head back to our little village for the day. Is there anyone here? Oh, I wanna see if I could sell to Matilda. I think I took all of her money this season though. They don't generally get their money back How can I help you? until the Whatever following you season. Oh, nope. I've got it. Uh, you don't have anything. Thank Goodbye. you, farewell. Well, I made it back into town. It is now nightfall. So I'm kind of doing my sorting thing that I always do where I come through and I sort out all the stuff that I currently am using. Put that in there too. Let's see, put my food away. What food that I'm currently carrying anyway. I don't have a whole lot of food. I didn't do a lot of hunting when I was out there, but I tend to pick stuff up as I go. There wasn't a bunch, but I think I'm okay. Other than animal food, and that's something that I did pick up because I do need it for the animals. Because if you look under our management window, you will see that our pigs have no food. So we'll come over here to our pigsty. Hello. Do I have a little piglet? Oh, look at the little piglet. Come over here and I'll fill this up. Really, is that all? Oh, it took, all right. So it took all that feed. 30 feed to fill that. So that's, at least my pig's happy now. All right, let's see. I can upgrade some buildings. What do I need here? Oh, I need daub for that. All right, well, I'll get to that later. I have a little bit of stone left, so I'm gonna work on this building because I was already working on it. So I might as well do that. Boom. Might as well finish the walls that are done. There's not many that are done, Never mind. I was thinking, wow, I have probably more done than I thought, but I really don't. There's a lot that, I'm gonna need a lot of limestone. A lot more limestone to finish that house. Some daub there for that one, those two buildings. But in any case, I should probably take a bath too before my wife says I'm stinky and I need to get, get a bath. So get a bath, drink some water, and overall, there we go, we got new villagers. If we just look real quick one more time, we are now sitting with a population of 22, equally distributed male and female. My wife's still pregnant. Hey, how you doing wifey? And I'm really curious if I could start growing the village organically from here. I don't know if the people have to be together in the same house for a period of time before they get married. I don't know that but I would like to see them get married and start producing some children. That hasn't happened yet, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. We're at 29 of 55 buildings. Um, once my wife has our baby, then we'll be at the cap of 65, um, five of which are gonna be the mines. I want those mines so I can keep generating revenue. Those mines are just way too good with the bronze and the iron and all of that. So that'll be where I'm at. But I don't really want to build any more houses because I have a few other things I want to build. I have the cattle and the sheep and the stable yet. So that's three buildings. The wind or the windmill, which is another building. So that's four buildings. Um, 
and then two trade centers. So there's even more. So I'm looking at like six buildings right there that are all or 11 of those buildings are already accounted for what I want. So we'll deal with that as we deal with that. Maybe I'll actually have some more stuff later, like maybe additional hunting shacks if I need more food in the winter. I don't know. Um, I may end up putting another hunting shack further out. I haven't decided yet. It hasn't become an issue. But anyway, that's where we're at. Now, this time, I am positive. All right. 95% sure that I will not have another video until it's winter time. But we'll find out. I'll see you next time.